Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life, taking a look at the brand new version of Google Play that rolled out. So we've got G3 and one plus one up here, and you probably can't tell the difference yet, but if we jump into settings, it will show you G3 is running 4.9.13, and the one plus is still running 4.8.2.0. So again, when you first pull these up, you can't actually tell that there's anything different. But once we jump into individual listings for apps or books or music or something like that, you can definitely see a difference there. So just this random auto launch Spotify app, you can definitely see. So immediately there on the right, you've got all sorts of changes really. So, you know, the icon or the logo for the apps different. The top bar, you'll notice the wish list and share buttons are gone. There is still search, but that wish list button is actually moved just right below search. Then you have your install buttons pretty much look the same, but then after that, everything gets all sorts of out of whack here. So download number there up top left. Uh, and it's, you know, on the sort of underneath the screenshots on the old version. And then again, screenshots have moved down lower. They're not the first thing you interact with, which is interesting. There is this sort of new almost toolbox area, if you will. It's got the rating of the app. It's got the category of the app. It's got friends or circled people and your plus ones or your Google Plus that would be there. And then it has a similar app button as well. So it's kind of like its own separate section. Now, when you get into the description, it actually doesn't say description anymore. It's just sort of this box of text. But if you tap read more, you get this really cool sort of material design like animation that brings you into sort of a separate page. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you get version number and downloads and rating and when it was last updated in size and all that. And then you have a little X up here that you can touch and that sort of brings everything back into the fold. Now, here are your screenshots and these essentially work just like they always have. You tap on them to get bigger ones and you can swipe between them and hit back to get out of them. So that hasn't really changed. Uh, but here is the reviews section. So you can see we've got more color in here. Uh, just blank white spaces in between each review there rather than the lines we saw before and a centered all reviews sort of text there. And then down here, you actually have wish list button, a share button, and then you also have the plus one button. So that stuff has kind of moved or it's been duplicated and things like that. You have similar apps and more by developers and things like that. If you scroll all the way down here, this developer section's kind of been shrunken. Um, you can see on the old version, that's where you have uh, size of the app, when it was last updated, all that stuff. But remember when we clicked into the description area, we actually had it in there. So they moved some things around, changed a little bit. Definitely looks different and more polished, that's for sure. But you know, if you go to like your My Apps page, this is gonna look the same, just like you know that main page looked the same. But again, if you jump into apps, so Facebook really shows you here, you've got a big image up top. Uh, you can actually scroll through this section, which is sort of which I call the toolbox and see even more people who have plus one did, you know, assuming you know them. And then again, here is the category page. So it's a social app. So you can tap on that to get to more social apps. Here's that read more again with that animation, your screenshots. There's my little picture, my rating, if I wanted to rate it, all that good stuff. So you can see how they've really, really changed how this stuff looks. Now here's Facebook Home, which has a video up top which would be in place of, you know, the first screenshot on the web version or something like that. So it does kick that into landscape and I have to flip that back there. Uh, so you can see lots of differences here again, individual pages. Um, let's just go home real quick and jump through a couple more of these. So going to music, these pages won't change, but then individual pages have. So you've got rating there, type of music. Now this is kind of a cool animation. You can see it, it actually moved without me saying, basically pull this down. You can see a really big image if you want to. So it's like reminding you that they're using big, beautiful imagery, which is kind of cool. And then here again is all your category stuff and uh, similar music and things like that. And the rest of the stuff sort of looks like the app listing. Now, if we jump into movies and TV, same deal here. Tap on stuff, you get big image up top, although this one doesn't have that cool long image like we had in the music. There's your rating category. You guys get this. Uh, let's look at a movie though. Uh, there you got a trailer up top, so you could watch the trailer if you want right from there. And finally, let's just look at books just to show you that they really have changed just about everything. So let's tap on this first book here. Jump in and there you go. So again, new design throughout all of the content pages. Uh, the rest of the stuff still has changes yet to come. But uh, yeah, just a quick look. Google Play 4913. 
you want to download it, you can grab it from Droid Life right now. Otherwise, you can wait for it to hit your device, but that's the easiest way to grab it is just from us. So if you've got comments, questions, let us know. We're Droid Life. Peace.